This is Mark and Charity's Coffee Podcast. Mark and Charity Coffee Podcast this Tuesday, May the 9th. Day got off and going today. We got a phone call about the security video at Talese about the car that drove into it. It's not the security video. Like, it's inside the store, though. Right, not like it's... the security video outside the in-store footage yeah. of the um, cameras that they impact have. Yeah. of a car going through their wall. And it's not the front wall. Because I'm not going to lie, we saw it, we're like, oh my gosh, that's crazy. So then, of course, we share it. And then the idea pops into my head, oh, is this, did this really happen? Like, the bell location, did right. it really happen here, yeah. or is this someone punking? Because there's nothing on, there was nothing in, in Quinty yet, and, and I couldn't find any real news on it. sources. Exactly. Yeah. So then I got looking at it, I'm like, no, that's the store. So the windows are at the top left corner of the video so the right. front of the store so yep. this is from the back it's not even from the front where the parking lot is this car came in through the back i don't know how that happens or yeah why other than a possible someone suggested it was a, a health emergency something had yeah. happened and, and and we sincerely hope that everything is okay as far as we know everybody was fine there's clearly nobody in the store so yeah. it's not like they hit anybody in the store but the True. driver hopefully mm-hmm. is fine. okay cuz i'm waiting now that i've turned 60 for the time when i accidentally hit the accelerator thinking I'm about to the brake and i drive into something i've almost done it here yeah bob well, well, and i par- cuz i park right the corner here right. below our studio so if yeah. i hit you're going to know yep <laughs> You're going to take up the sales manager, and I'm going to fall to the first floor. And Yeah, it can happen. Yeah, so anyway, we hope, I hope it doesn't. I hope it doesn't happen to you. Day was off and running after that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Got going after that. And then bright and early, we had Dave Sharp on the show. What a guy. He is what the organizer of the upcoming uh, reunion that's been in the works for quite some time for Campbellford District High School, my high school. And uh, he... I am. I, I guess I'm helping out. I'm part. I don't want to yeah. say I'm part of it. Okay, you volunteered. I volunteered. Yes, I was asked to vol- if I would volunteer. Mm-hmm. Um, they have part of the events for that weekend. They have musical acts throughout the Saturday afternoon at the high school, and it, it features alumni, people who were musically inclined while they were in high school, and then continued on. Right. So they asked if I would come and MC the afternoon. Oh, and nice. Yes. Yeah, so nice. I had spoken to Dave, and, and he had asked if we could talk about it. So we were happy to do that. Campbellford High School celebrating its 100th anniversary coming up in the middle of July. Good morning. Hey, Good Dave. morning, Dave. It's Mark and Charity how calling. Today? Good. Good how are you? How are you? Good. Uh, tell me, what experience do you have that permits you to be running a 100-year-old 100 reunion? Well, by golly. <laughs> um, I, I guess, well, strangely enough, I kind of volunteered to do it. <laughs> well, good for you. I applaud you. And when did that start, Dave? When did planning for this actually you know begin? What? We were just looking at it yesterday, and it was three years ago this month. Wow. Okay. All right. Okay. It started, the brainstorming started that, that the celebration needed to happen, number one, but all the elements that go into bringing it together. Yes, very much so. Well, you mentioned the history, Dave, 100 years. That's a lot of history to go back through. And since talking with, with Marsha and yourself uh, getting ready for the big event in July, it was really interesting to sit down and think about it because I guess being a graduate myself, um, Anything prior to that, <laughs> and I'm one of the, the later ones, but anything to prior to that, to have to sit down and actually think about it, it's like, yeah, my parents went to this school as well, and, and Marsha actually asked me, well, what about your grandparents? And I had to stop and think and be like, wow. wait a minute. Yeah, they could have gone. I, I don't know. I got, so the, it's the generational history as well with, with the families in and around Trent Hills. Very, very much so, and that's one of the reasons why we wanted to put the book together, but also during the reunion itself, we have access to different rooms, and each room will be a theme of the decade. Oh, wow, that, nice. That's very cool. Somebody was thinking yeah. there, Dave. Yeah, and then there's some special rooms, you know, like uh, the, you know, some of the people that uh, have, have been deceased, you know, so we've got a room special for that. Um, and there's just two or three other special rooms as well, so... Dave Sharp, one of the organizers behind Campbellford District High School's 100th 
celebration, 100 years Mm -hmm. of educating the Trent Hills community, (laughs) by and large. What's the date, Dave, and how do people, if they are alumni, get involved to make sure that they get there? Well, the dates are, we're actually doing a little bit of work uh, with the open house on Thursday, July the 13th. July the 14th evening is the opening ceremonies, and there's tours through the facilities. July the 15th is Saturday, and there's lots of activities there, and we'll wrap up Sunday morning. Now, for you, Dave, what has this journey been like, going back through everything and, and contacting people, maybe reconnecting with with students and teachers? What has it been like getting this all ready? A lot of work. <laughs> uh, and I'm sure that when I sit down on July the 18th, uh, when it's all over, that'll be very satisfied. It's been very good to see we have a great committee and subcommittees. We're all working together towards one common goal, and that's to make sure everyone that comes has a great time. Dave, what's your graduating class? What year are you? I'm 71, uh, yeah, 71, 72. 71, 72. All right. And then you're going to rest one day, and plans begin for the 200th anniversary. <laughs> Well, I'm, okay, but well, you're close. Yeah. You're gonna, I'm going to rest for two days, and then we're taking our two 15-year-old grandkids to England and Scotland for 18 oh, days. Nice. That's how you do well, it. That's a break. Good for you. That's how you do it. Now, do people need to register? Like, Charity, have you got tickets already? Are there you? are. You do have to register for right. some of the events. So, so a lot of the events are free. For example, the opening ceremonies, the school, the school classroom tours, uh, the tour at the new fire emergency center, the tour at the Campbellford Seymour Heritage Society. Uh, Those are free. You just show up. Uh, The main things you need to register for are the Saturday evening dinner and the two dances. Okay. We're also having pancake. Rotary Club is putting pancake practices on Saturday morning and Sunday morning. Uh, Yes, we would like to get a buy the tickets, but if not, you can also just show up at those. So the Rotary Club, uh, it's just giving us a little bit of flexibility. Yeah. Every day. Thank you to the Rotary Club. So, of anybody who may have already registered, who's the oldest? I can't tell you exactly, but I would say they're in the mid-80s. Mid-80s? Okay, okay. so they would have graduated right. circa in the 1960s? Yeah. Or actually even earlier. Yep. Maybe in the 1950s. Wow. That's yeah. incredible. Okay. See, it's interesting because those Oh, two times, three times a week, I get a phone call from one of our seniors, and they say, Dave, I don't know how to register. So they're very trusting, so I create uh, passwords for them. I get them all set up, and then somehow we get they send me a check or whatever, and we get them registered. <laughs> so that's been a little bit of it's, it's been a fun working in that technology. Sure. Oh, yeah. Graduating class I'm of 1956 sure. or something. Like, <laughs> wow. Well, yeah. For those who are listening, uh, CDHS alumni, and they're thinking, wow, you know what, I'd really like to to register, but also get a full schedule of what's going on and follow along with everything that's happening. Where's the best place for them to go? Is there is there a website or a Facebook page they can follow? Yes, and yes, and yes. So, first of all, we've got a great website, www.cdhs2023reunion.ca. Using that same wording, you can look us up on Facebook. And then we also have paper applications um, at Kerr's Corner Store, the bookstore, but sadly they're closing down. Mm -hmm. But we also have it at the Campbellford Seymour Heritage Society on Front Street. Okay. Campbellford. Great. How many are you expecting that weekend, Dave? We're hoping for 1,000 to 1,500. Nice. We we honestly don't know because of COVID. There's been a lot of uh, changes made, so we're just waiting we're getting good registration, but we expect a lot more in the next two and a half months. Sure. Wow, yeah. Yeah. As the day gets closer. And then when it, when yep. it's all over, uh, before you go to uh, to Scotland, if you don't mind, could you drop us a line and tell us the farthest traveled, how far the farthest people came from? Like, do you have any idea now, anybody well outside Canada who plans on coming? Well, certainly one of our, uh, Johnny Douglas, who used to be a student when I was going to school, actually lives over in Seattle. And uh, I know that him, he's coming because they're actually performing, him and his former school buddies. Oh, oh nice. Performing a live set for us. Oh, the hams. <laughs> hams when they were in high school, hams now. It never changes. <laughs> yeah, but then at the same time, I believe there's somebody coming from Japan and also Australia. Oh, wow. see? That's so good. Yep. 
That's so good. It's a big weekend. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's coming up in July 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th. Be sure to register and uh, looking forward to it, Dave, as well. And we'll check in again before that weekend and get an update from you. That's fantastic. Perfect. And we really appreciate the support. We just need more registration. That's what we're aiming for. Let for everybody sure. know. For Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. We'll get the word out. Stop by the Charity Brown booth. Oh, stop. Get your selfies, local celebrities, <laughs> 100 years. Where is it? I'm just looking for the uh, newsletter here um, because they've been putting out newsletters leading up to Miss it. And February, I made the mistake Charity of Brown. sharing with Mark that, yes, they, they called and did a little interview with me. Good for you. Um, for sure. Why but it's they, under the right? most notable CHS <laughs> alumni careers. <laughs> not that I am not proud of my career sure. and what I have done. But yeah. it, when I'm in the company of, say, uh, Paul Thane, who is an Air Canada pilot and an Elvis tribute artist. Come on That's now, pretty right? awesome. And um, Johnny Douglas, a songwriter, musician, producer. He has worked on, get this, Shameless shows. These are the shows. Shameless, Entertainment Tonight, Beverly Hills 90210, Smallville, Party of Five, Young and the Restless, Ghost Whisperer, Degrassi, to name a few, and films. Cinderella Story. It won an Oscar, didn't it? With Russell Crowe? With Russell Crowe, playing for keeps. Um, and then he's been a part of documentaries. He's continued to do music. Uh, and I believe he will be one of the performers that Saturday. That's what he was saying. He yeah, and his, you know, he and Dave. We'll be I mean, performing together. Hams so, in high school, hams your whole life. Uh, yeah, years later, yeah. not 100 years, they did not graduate. They weren't in the first class. <laughs> they were in the first class. Of 1923. No, but later on. So it'll be interesting yeah. to see. And, and Well, I, for, I don't know, for all his accomplishments, I don't hear that Johnny Douglas show anywhere like it's oh, Mark and Charity in the morning. <laughs> right? I don't, maybe stop he's got it. a podcast. I don't know. I'm, I'm not impressed. But I'm glad you sure asked talented. how far they were coming from, because Johnny, I guess, is on the West Coast. So he'll be yeah, traveling in. Right. Um, I don't have to travel that far. Just down the road. I did leave and come back, but <laughs> <laughs> there, there are okay, some. Okay, Reese Witherspoon. There are some from <laughs> Australia and and Europe, so it'll be interesting to see. In class of what was it? What did he say? 1957. So 43 before that would be 63, 66. 57. That's what he thought the oldest person. So if you oh, graduated yes. in 1957 at the age of I don't know, like 18 or 20, you know, it's like, like you're over 80. And that, and as impressive as it is, because you can live into your 90s, to want to travel. And go back. And go back, knowing you probably won't know anybody. <laughs> but you're going. But it'd be kind of, I'm sure for someone, who, yes, from 1957. Spouse, if they've never been here. Exactly. To say, this is where I went to high school. This is where I grew up. A lot has changed. Even since I've graduated, a lot has changed. The mm -hmm. different, like, I've, I've stayed in the area. So for me, it was funny when, when they were talking to me about this article. They were saying, so are you excited? to get back and see the school <laughs> and I'm thinking well I see it yeah. pretty well every day so yeah. that part of it isn't excited I'm excited to to hear those stories from 1957 even my parents it's it's triggered conversations with them because mm -hmm. they graduated in the late 60s from Campbellford District High School so to ha hear their memories my dad's pulling out um, his old high school coat and beanies oh and my gosh. like patches he had because he played lacrosse and hockey while he was in high school. My mom was a clarinet player, so she's been talking about being in the band. So it's it's opened up that conversation yeah. to hear their stories and wow. see some pictures, and it's kind of motivated people or inspired people to go back. Right. So it should be it's going to be an interesting weekend. The historical society have their doors open. I believe there's a setup at the fire hall as well, and then different events throughout the weekend. So it'll be kind of it'll be pretty cool. Let's start with the show. Number one, Campbellford now has a McDonald's. I know. And when they well, get back, even they're at Tim be Hortons. Like, no way. Like the Tim Hortons came when I was in high school, so it's only. I don't want to say. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Uh, it's uh, a few years old. Twenty. Or but yeah, so. we just got a McDonald's. It's huge. So yeah. there's been changes, clearly. That's good, though. It but the amount of work, because seriously, the guy's been on this oh for about three years, right? Yeah. Did it kind of start? Yeah. Three years ago, enough people say, y'all. But if everybody does a little bit, a lot gets done. Mm -hmm. And uh, Dave more than alluded to that, that, hey, they got a lot of subcommittees, and they got a lot of people working on Has it. Has your right boys' now. school ever had a reunion? Have no, you guys I, ever had a get-together or an event? Uh, I, I think so. I, I believe that's the case. Did not attend. Okay. Yeah. Do but you it's regret funny. that? 
Um, it's funny you asked that because I'm as we curious. thought just about kinda... it, 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 it tipped back to, because the funny thing is it opened in 1963, which is the same year I opened. <laughs> we, we both opened our lives in the same year. <laughs> okay. So now that I'm 60, something <laughs> tells me at the 50th. But it is no longer a uh, boarding school. It's now uh, a Catholic high school. And I think it's the largest boys one in girls. London. Oh, yeah, completely. Because okay. no, it was no boys only anymore. when you were yeah, there. Yeah, and, and it was like from around the world. Mm-hmm. There, and there was never more than like 200 of us. So anytime we won anything in sports, we were rock stars. Yeah. Because we were playing the of biggest high were. schools going around. Um, something tells me it was, and I think a few of my friends went back, but I, I never made it back. I don't know. I'm not. I mean, I love history, but I don't mm-hmm. like taking part in history. <laughs> I'm not a high school reunion kind of person. Well, I, I'll be honest. So, I wouldn't say I am either. No, I know. But, but I live there. So that's it's, right. So what are you going to do? It's a I think different. if I lived in London, I sure would have gone. Yeah. But you know, when I'm not and we're busy up here and life and kids and fair enough. Before you know, it's like no. So I don't you really wouldn't travel from the West Coast then back? No. You know, like, I'm not sure if I lived in St. Thomas, I would have gone to London 20 minutes up the highway. I might have gone. Nobody missed me because nobody said, hey, hey where where's were Mark? No. Oh. No. No. So <laughs> some things don't change. Whatever. <laughs> Nobody missed me. Do you Thank know, heavens. I got thinking about this. It's been um, a girlfriend and I were talking, a college friend. Uh, one of my best friends uh, we met in college and we were we were reminiscing of course and talking about it we are only a couple of years off from um, our 25th anniversary yeah. from graduating from graduate yeah college I know. and that idea flew around we're like we should get the gang back together oh my god <laughs> and that is one that i would be very excited to see my sure. radio class yeah. From when we graduated. I think there's maybe only three of us left in radio. It's funny. So because, it'd be kind of yeah. cool to, to see them and, and reminisce and just talk about where everybody is. I did that as well. I, I believe there are only two of us left, myself and Mark Payne, who does mornings in Tilsonburg. He's had a phenomenal career. He was great. He was in Brockville. He was at Chum AM in Toronto for a long time. And then he went to Kitchener, did mornings in Kitchener, worked with a lot of people that I knew when I was in Stratford. Bradford, so we had common people that we liked, so that was great. And then uh, he is basically doing mornings now on the station I did mornings on when I started. Wow, crazy and formats crazy. changed and everything. But I think but he and I are the you? last two in in our class that have that have hung in. I've had I've had a friend pass. I've had two friends pass away I, from college. I had that last year, the first time yeah, that I yeah. know of. Yeah. Um, and, and one of them was prompted by getting an email from one of the young ladies in the class that I was friends with. There was a whole bunch of us that were mm-hmm. in a group. Oh. And she lives in Croatia and emailed me from Croatia to say, hey, did you hear that so-and-so passed away? And I'm like, A, what are you doing in Croatia? Mm-hmm. And B, oh, you know, got married and I live here now. I hope things are well. And no, I hadn't heard. So it's just weird how the world is, you know, mm-hmm. small. But yeah, I think uh, I think there's just two of us. So yeah, I'm not surprised after 25 years. It'd just be really yeah. cool to touch base with them. I, again, the novelty of the high school years is worn off because I see it all the time. And and mm-hmm. I do quite often see a lot of people I went to high school with um, being being in Campbellford. But yeah, college would be would be fun. And to if it re- wasn't super And that's organized. what I think. Maybe that's why, um, not why, but I think that's maybe how other people will feel coming back for the weekend in July because yeah. they're not there all the time. It's kind of like, oh, let's go back and... And reminisce and, and see who where doesn't we are. want to come to Eastern Ontario in the summertime? It's it is great. a beautiful it's town, beautiful. especially in the summer. We got cheese, chocolate, beer, the toonie. Bridge. We're good. Water. Yeah. Boats. It's beautiful. It's great. Yep. So uh, do what Dave said and let everybody know you're coming, okay? He's only expecting a thousand. Shock him. Let's get 3,000 people oh, and their wow. spouses and their kids. Yes. To say this is where we grew up. Do that. Bring 10,000 people in that weekend. Oh God, please. Wow. Do it. Do it. You can all park on Charity's lawn. <laughs> no, don't. You can just get your trailers on Charity's lawn. Oh, my gosh. Lawn. Stop. Stop. As great as it would be to have be all those people free. come back. Don't. Please don't. Everybody. Lie. <laughs> Say you went there, but lie. See? And come then home. all of us that live there all the time will be out of town that Everybody weekend. in Croatia, come to Campbellford. Stop. Don't stop. Listen to me. Stop. Life is short. Love Campbellford. <laughs> it's American Charity Coffee Podcast. Coming up tomorrow and later on in the week, we're going to have Chris McCool on 
of the Sultans McCool. of String. Mm -hmm. That's his name, Chris McCool. Yeah. Sultans of String. He we was, asked him. <laughs> it was destiny that he should do this yeah, founding role I don't of think this really there's cool a band. bigger sign to tell you you right. need to be on stage. You're going to be an interpretive jazz performer. <laughs> McCool. McCool. Of course you are. So he's going to be on the show talking about uh, their performance that's coming up in Tweed and uh, Bancroft. Tomorrow. Sorry. And then, uh, and then Emily's going to be here from the United Way later on this week talking about bocce golf. And don't forget tomorrow's McHappy Day. McHappy Day. Make happy day. We're everything on, on the, the menu. Show. Yeah, it used to be a buck for a Big Mac. Big Mac or coffee or the McFlurry. There used to be like three like items that. Yeah. that you could get throughout the day. Yeah. And now it's everything. Just buy stuff. We're giving money as a Yes. Kids. Buy stuff. Enjoy McDonald's tomorrow. Martino's going to be on the show tomorrow to remind us what we can and cannot do when we are at McDonald's. Which oh, is includes... that? I thought she was just going to tell us about the fundraising well, aspect. Well, that part. Okay. But then, uh, but then she's going to get into the rules. The no more crawling out of the drive through <laughs> window say this into every cars. Time. Mark. I'm one time, you, Mark. Mark. Yeah. One time. And look what happens. Yeah, you do it one you time. You ruin it for everybody. <laughs> Mark. Charity, you can do whatever you want. But Mark, listen up. It's going to be a good time tomorrow. Personal space. <laughs> We've been working on it, but yep. apparently. <laughs> All coming up tomorrow morning when you wake up with Mark and Charity mornings at 95.5 Hits FM. Have a great day.